this week's craft, you'll find a tube loom with four popsicle sticks. You'll find a ball of yarn and two googly eyes. I'm gonna set those aside. We'll need those at the end. You'll also need a pair of scissors for this one to trim your yarn when it's time. And let's get started. Here's the end of my yarn. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a little knot and slide it over one of the sticks. Oops, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and double knot it. Make sure you don't tie this super tight because we have to be able to get it back off the stick when it's time. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. So tie it on there, but not too tight. You can see that it's a little bit loose there. So now it's time to start wrapping. We're going to wrap a loop just like this around every stick. So now that I'm done with this one, I'm going to move to the one next to it, wrap a loop, wrap a loop. Now every stick has a loop. My tape wants to come off. Let me just make sure that's stuck down well. And now I'm going to do that one more time so each stick has two loops. Make sure you wrap the second loop at the top. So it's okay if you need to go through and push down your loops so that you have room for the second one up above, just like that. You don't need to wrap this very tightly. You want it to be a little bit forgiving. Don't wrap as tight as you can. Not only will you break your loom, it'll be really difficult to do the next step. So now that all of my loops have, or sorry, all of my sticks have two loops, I'm ready to start the knitting process. So I'm going to take my fingertips and grab the bottom loop and carefully lift it over the top loop so that it's off. And now it's just the top loop remaining and I can push that down to the bottom. So now it's the bottom loop. We're going to repeat that here. Lift it up, pulling it nice and tight, lifting it over over and sliding this one down and again being very careful and pushing it down now when you have done that for all of them there's only one loop on each stick you can wrap a new top loop just like that and we're going to repeat it we're just going to pick it up and pull it over slide it down pick it up Pull it over, slide it down, up and over, slide it down, up and over, slide it down. And we are going to do this a lot. It's going to take quite a bit of time, but it'll be worth it, I promise. So I'm going to work on this for a while, going up and over, and then I'll show you how it's looking. If you look in here, you can kind of start to see that it is making a little tube made of yarn. So that's pretty exciting. I'll check back in in just a second. So my snake is getting pretty long and I think I'm ready to remove it from the loom. You can make your snake however long you want. If you want to use your whole yarn ball, go for it. It is up to you. But I think I am about done. So what I'm going to do is leave quite a bit of room and trim my yarn. Set my yarn ball aside. Remember, don't throw away your yarn because you could always use this for next week's project if you have any left over. So now I'm going to go ahead and lift up the loops that we have left and thread my yarn through it. So you can see that my yarn came from this loop last. So I'm going to start threading it through on the one next to it. I'm gonna do that again. 
threading it through and on this one too pulling it through carefully and ending with the last one and once that's done we can remove it from the loom just by pulling it upward and you can cinch your little snake closed and then just find a loop tie a knot around it and i'm going to double knot it here so it's nice and secure pull that tight and there's my little snake and your snake might look different and i like to leave a little piece of string here like a snake a snake tongue and you can even pull it into two pieces at the end and it'll look pretty cute just like that all right and now it's time to attach our googly eyes there they are i set them aside so your googly eyes might have a backing to them so they might be double-sided it looks like mine are so i can just remove that it's kind of difficult to do because my googly eyes are tiny. You're, there's a variety of googly eye sizes. So you might end up with really big ones or really tiny ones like mine. And then now that it's nice and sticky, I can stick my eyes on my snake. And if you find this too frustrating and too hard to get off, you can always use glue anyway. I brought my glue in here just in case. I'll attach it there. There it is. And there's my little yarn snake. Oh, I think that looks great. You can make him slither. You can play with him. If you make a really long one, you could even wear your little snake like a scarf. I hope you had fun this week with this week's project, the tube loom. And keep this because you can always use it when you get more yarn. It works pretty well for something made out of a toilet paper roll and some popsicle sticks, huh? <laughs> Please post pictures on social media of your finished project. We love seeing them on Facebook. It makes us really happy to see how creative you all are. Come back next week for a new craft. We'll see ya.